Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today I'm gonna to be doing a highly requested video. It is answering my viewers decor dilemmas. Now I did a video a couple months ago. I'm gonna link it up here and it was a huge hit. So I am doing it again. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm gonna put my little um, handle here. This is where I do call-its for these kinds of videos. So when I do another one of these videos, you know where to ask me questions. The first question comes from Boucher. He has a really cute story. He actually submitted this question on behalf of his wife. He wants to surprise her. I just thought that was really sweet. So let's take a look at his video and see what the design dilemma is. Hi Alexandra, my name is Boucher. My wife Aisha is a big fan of you. She made me watch a few videos for you. And I noticed since then she has been making a lot of improvements in our home. But I also noticed that she's been struggling in the living room with the couch, like the cushions, the wall. So I'm trying to surprise her with this and trying to hide also at home so she doesn't hear. But I'm trying to surprise her with this and I'm pretty sure that she's going to go crazy when she knows. So I really hope that you can help her and we look forward to it. Thank you very much. First of all, I just wanna say that this room is already so, so cute. Your wife did such a good job of decorating it. I'm obsessed with those dot curtains and it's really, really coming together. But I think this is such a common problem. It's like, what do you do with that wall above a couch? It's usually like quite a big blank space. I feel like either people put art up or they put a mirror up, which are two great options, but I feel like your wife kind of wants to think outside the box, and so I have a solution for you. So at first I actually thought a mirror would work here because you have the windows to the left of the couch. There's so much bright light coming in, and a mirror is a really great way to bounce that light off and fill the whole room with sunlight. But since your TV is on the other side of the wall, I felt that the only thing that would be reflecting was your TV. And no one wants to look at their TV in more than one place in their living room. For those of you guys watching at home who have a small space, a mirror is a really great solution. But for Boucher and his wife, I don't think that this is the right solution. What I would do is hang a really long, simple shelf across this whole wall, and I would fill it with tons of plants in varying sizes. You mentioned that your wife loves kind of a boho style. I just feel like they fill a space, they make it feel decorative and just like fresh and nice and happy and since you have that window beside the couch there is tons of opportunity for plants to thrive i do plants in varying sizes try a monstera maybe a couple cacti you could also layer in some art pieces some candles and the great thing about a shelf like this is that you can change it up whenever you'd like you could decorate it for christmas with some garland and some lights and in the spring change it up with lots of like flowers or you know fun art prints the possibilities are really endless. You could do a simple white shelf or you could add um, a faux piece of barn wood. You can get this at your local hardware store for under $10, which is amazing. It looks like real barn wood and I feel like the wood is gonna give lots of texture in your space and just make it feel that much warmer. The second thing you said your wife was struggling with was the corner where the floor light is right now. I actually love this corner. I love how you have layered in a beautiful floor light with a plant, but I hear your concern about wanting to make this corner feel bigger and thinking about adding a mirror. Now, I noticed you have a rectangular mirror. I would actually do um, just a simple like gold circle mirror. I just find that these are less bulky and it's more of a decorative piece. I feel like floor mirrors are more like functional. You'd likely see it in a bedroom or a bathroom, but a round mirror again is a great way to bounce that light off. It's not facing the TV wall, so you're not gonna be staring at your TV all day. It just, it opens a corner. And for any of you guys at home, if you have an awkward corner in your house or like a little nook um, that you don't know what to do with, I highly suggest hanging a mirror because it's gonna make that little corner feel that much more open and bright. Thank you so much for your question. I hope that this helped your wife. I'd really love to see um, what you guys decide to do above your couch. And for all of you guys watching, I know a lot of people in the previous video asked to see the finished spaces and if my viewers took any of these comments to heart and redecorated their spaces. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Um, my handle is right here. I always try and repost as many messages as I can um, of you guys sending me in your awesome spaces that you've decorated because you've been inspired my, by my videos. It's like the coolest thing to see and I have a highlight reel called your DIYs So make sure you guys go to that and hopefully the people I've helped today are able to send in their photos 
to me to DM me on Instagram and I will repost them so you guys can see them. The second question comes from Mary and she has an art space that she's having trouble decorating, which is so ironic because she's an artist, but I get it. It's like sometimes even me, I do this for a living. I am immersed in the world of home decor every single day and sometimes I walk into my space and I'm like, oh, I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do here. So this is why I do these videos because I think it's really helpful for an outsider to just take a step back and give suggestions. Mary has this beautiful room. It looks really big and open. She's got a desk on one side and a huge blank wall in front of her desk. And then she has this space beside her desk that's kind of just piled up with it looks like some books, some empty frames. It's just kind of like become a dumping ground. So let's watch her video and see what she needs help with. Hi Alexandra, my name is Mary. I live in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and I am a artist and designer here. I'm kind of looking for some feedback and suggestions from you on how to improve the space I create in. Organizing an art space can be difficult, but I also think you could have so much fun with it. So what I would suggest is on that wall to the right, I would just add floor to ceiling floating shelves. And here's why. I think in an art space or an office, whenever you have art supplies or stationery, it can be hard to know what you have and it can be easy to forget what you have. At least for me, I need to see everything on display at all times. When it comes to an art room or like even my office area or I'll just forget like, oh yeah, I have those cute pens or I have that set of watercolors or even have like extra printer paper. If it's tucked away, I just totally forget that I have it. So I think it'd be really fun if you did floating shelves floor to ceiling, and then propped all of your art supplies in acrylic containers. The color of your art supplies is going to totally liven up that wall. It's gonna be organized and you're gonna know exactly what you have and where you need to put it back so everything stays really organized and streamlined. I did think that the obvious solution would be to do a closed cabinet beside your desk, but it'll just kind of close the space in and you're really not maximizing all that wall space that you have. Above your desk, I would suggest doing a floating photo shelf because then you can put all of your art on display, maybe current pieces you're working on, maybe art from other people that inspire you and you can change it up whenever you want. Mary, if you sell your art, it would be cool also to prop some of your art up here and then you could take pictures for Instagram or your website. I would really love to see what you do with this art space. I think it has so much potential to look really beautiful. So DM me if you make any of these changes and I can't wait to see. So the next question comes from Madison and she has a cluttered corner that she doesn't know what to do with. Here is her dilemma. She says, I have a corner in my living room that doesn't quite look right and I'm struggling with what to do with it. Right now I have a large heavy chair that only my cats use, relatable, a small record holder for all of my collectibles, and in the corner there is a small side table tucked away that houses my internet router and a few cables here and there. My question for you is how do you style this? Everyone faces it when watching TV and I don't wanna see that out of the corner of my eye anymore. This is such a common dilemma um, for anyone who lives in a space big or small. If your internet router needs to be in the middle of your living room, it's like, what do you do with it? So the first thing I would suggest is pivoting your cat's chair um, slightly. So it's kind of more under the window. I feel like because it's straight against the wall, it's just making that corner feel really like closed in and there's not a lot of breathing room. So just a simple like pivot of your furniture can really make all the difference. That way the chair looks like it's facing the record player a little bit more and it just becomes more like cozy and inviting. The next thing I would do is ditch this side table altogether that houses your router and instead I would put a basket. I love using decorative baskets to hold internet routers, um, modems, cables, all of those things. So this isn't covering your cables. You don't want to ever cover your internet router. It might get too hot, but it encloses it in a decorative way. You don't see it. I feel like the table, because it's so high, it's just drawing attention to it. And again, it's like really making that corner feel kind of closed in and tight. There's also some really, really fun DIYs um, on how to hide your modems. So I'm gonna link those down below for all of you guys watching um, and you, Madison, if you feel up for a little DIY project. The next question comes from Tori. She just made a really big move halfway across the world to Kenya for work. She's feeling really homesick and her space does not feel like home. So let's take a look at her question. Hi, Alexandra. So I could totally use some help. I just moved to Kenya and 
I'm really thankful for this really huge bedroom I have, but it needs some serious help. It's pretty big. This is a king size bed and look at all the space here. That wall is empty, <laughs> that wall is empty, that wall is empty, and over here is empty. One, I can't paint and two, they're cement, so you can't drill into them really. I do have this big beautiful window which I absolutely love because I can look outside and check out the monkeys. <laughs> I would love some help helping it feel like home, helping it feel like girly and pretty and more like me. More like this is the place that I like want to be at the end of the day. I loved this submission because I think no matter if you've moved, you know, across the world and are looking to make your apartment feel more like home or you've just moved into a new home or you've lived in a home for five years and it still doesn't feel comfy and cozy. This question kind of sums up why I do what I do. I really want all of you guys to feel like home in your spaces. I have some pretty easy solutions, which I'm going to share with you, Tori, and you guys who are watching. These are going to instantly make your space feel cozier and more like home. They're pretty obvious, but I also think they're things that people don't always think about, but they make such a massive difference. The first tip is to bring a rug in. Because it's so big, you want a big rug that's gonna fill this space. I would tuck it under the bed a little bit and I would pick something in a really cozy texture, something that's wool, maybe a shag rug, maybe something with a design. It's just going to instantly make your space feel a bit smaller, but in a good way. Um, and make it feel warm and inviting. I love Rugs USA. This is not sponsored. I just genuinely love shopping on their website. They always have sales and their rugs are pretty affordable and always really good quality. I would also suggest bringing in some cozy lighting. Now you mentioned that you it's a rental and you can't make any changes to the walls. So I would bring in a floor light or a little night table light. At the end of the day, when I come home, I love turning on my floor lights instead of my overhead light. It just makes makes me feel more cozy and warm in my space. And a floor light or a table light is gonna add a decorative element as well. And then my third tip is to layer in lots of accessories like throw cushions and throw blankets. Those are the obvious choices. Then also thinking outside the box, picking out a diffuser and some scents that really make you feel um, like home. I love diffusing lavender in my space. It reminds me of my mom. My mom, when I was little, always used to diffuse lavender. And it's just like finding those scents that make you feel like you and cozy. So I would definitely suggest getting a diffuser, candles maybe, just like layering your bed with tons of cushions, maybe cushions that say something, like have typography on them, bright cushions. It's just gonna make your space again feel like so much more like you. My last piece of advice would be to hang a piece of art above the bed. Now I know you can't put holes in the walls, so you're gonna have to use command hooks and those don't always hold a large amount of weight. I would suggest going for a tapestry, so something that's lightweight to hang, or I would suggest printing out a really big piece of printable art from Etsy, something again that you really, really love. It could be something that relates to where you're from. Some of my favorite art pieces are the most simple, so I have this just simple heart print. I have it hanging in my living room. It's the first thing I see whenever I come home. And again, it reminds me of my mom. My mom like loves just that simple heart shape. So I would just browse online, find a piece that you love or a piece that reminds you of home and hang that above your bed. Tori, DM me on Instagram if you make any of these changes. And I really hope that you feel less homesick once you make these changes and good luck on all your work adventures. And there you guys have it. Decor Dilemmas solved for a few of my viewers. Thank you guys so much for asking me all of your questions. I hope that they helped you in some way. And if you have any Decor Dilemmas, make sure you follow me on Instagram, DM me, send me an email. The info is all down in the description box. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoy this style of video. A big shout out to my friend Danny Berger who did these beautiful illustrations. She's so talented. Her links are gonna be down below. She's also a YouTuber and she does so many fun DIYs. The next video you're gonna be watching is a makeover video, uh, another episode of Studio Fix next week. I'm so excited. And it's actually my neighbor. I'm decorating her apartment, which is so fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.